I want to tell you guys a story. It's a story about how one person's ever-growing guilt caused them to become something that no one, not even I, could imagine. However, before I tell you that story, we need to move back just a little bit. Last episode, and in the spirit of Halloween, I decided to tackle on Toby Fox slash Radiation's Halloween hack. We were introduced to Varric, a bounty hunter who was tasked with the job of traveling to Winters via the Tucson sewers to kill off a monster that was responsible for the death of two local parents. Before we began preparation, I decided it would be a cool thing to see how the entire city has panned out since the months after Gygus. Some people were hilarious, others were freaky, but for the most part, it seems that life had continued on as if nothing had happened. Unfortunately for me, there was no going to on net whatsoever. I just wanted to see how the place has changed, but every time I managed to inch my way ever so closer, I would just get absolutely annihilated. If I wanted to get to Winters, let alone anywhere else in the game, then I would need to level up. And grind I did. I was in the Tucson sewers for a good chunk of time, dare I say, it was one of the places that I spent the most time throughout the entire playthrough. I died a lot. I won't lie, but when you're like me, somebody who doesn't have a single HP item, low offense, and bad luck when it comes to actually hitting my attacks, seriously, who thought it was a good idea to give these guys this much speed? And on a single ounce of power points due to the fact that as soon as I die once, I lose all of them when I respawn. Then of course, if you're like me, and if you're like that, you'll die many times, but it didn't matter in the long run. You know, I still got my money, I still bought my goods, and now I was in the prime position to continue my journey. There was nothing in the Tucson sewers for me to look through. A few good items I got here and there from some enemies, but everything else would change as soon as I would go through this one door where there is a black phone right next to it. And while I cannot show you my initial reaction due to poor audio quality, by the way, sorry about that, the visuals are all you need to see what was to come next. Your heartbeat quickens unnaturally as you approach the door, but you open it anyway. You reach the heart of the Tucson sewers and you continue onward to Foggy Land. Even though Winters lies incredibly far away, even though you've been coerced into destroying a monster who may not even exist, some forbidden force drives your legs yet forward. Minutes, hours, days, an unknown boundless amount of time passes since you opened the door. Like the undead you've been chosen to fight, you lurch endlessly forward, as if in a trance. After what seems like infinity, the walls seem to darken uncharacteristically. They drip with a vicious purple liquid which burns to the touch. The water's hue slowly drifts from dark brown to an unfamiliar foul-smelling red. Suddenly, Eyes are burning into you from all sides and your head is pounding with fear. You kneel over and clutch your stomach tightly. Something is so wrong. So, so wrong. This can't be. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is hellish. I don't even have words to describe what I saw as soon as I got over here. I genuinely had no fucking clue what any of this was. I kid you not, if I played this when I was younger, I would 100% have nightmares just looking at these guys and it doesn't help either that they're use that this is using the same it's using the same music as Gygus I would try to read out the text but it's so gross yet at the same time it goes so quickly <laughs> yes we are at the point of no return. I could try going into that door again, but for whatever God knows reasons, whenever I do try to go through that door, it just puts me in the same place again. 
I want to save my healing items. Uh, I just am gonna try being like very stubborn with what I have because I genuinely just don't want to like fucking die right away and then have no healing items because even if I die and I go even if I die I can't go back to Tucson I just can't that was one of the th that was one of the unfortunate things that happened oh come on Varric that was one of the unfortunate things that happened to me while I was here for the first time if I die I just respawn back here and the problem with that is, if I use all my healing items, then I'm not going to have anything more. But yeah, this is beyond creepy. This is hellish, what, what I'm looking at right now. I'll take this. I didn't, go, I didn't get too far down over here because I didn't want to spoil a lot for myself. All I just know is that... There's something to the right of here. And this is where I kind of ended off. The clipping, the graphics, is pretty bad. All things considered. All things considered. Sorry. May have had to have a little burp there. I actually have a, a strategy guide that came with the ROM. Came with the ROM hack. And I... I also, uh, whatchamacallit, I sold the monster book. However, because I already showed you what the monster book told me, I wrote down what was on the monster book. And so, the monster book says that un undead enemies are sus susceptible to light. Meaning that, in theory, White Chuck should be... White Chuck should be good. What? Fuck. Really? White Chuck Alpha is only on one enemy? That's... I only have 25 PSI. I don't want to use it right away. Besides, these guys are really only doing one damage to me. I don't know how I ended up going all the way down to 31 HP. That's really bad because I, I, I want to be stubborn. Oh, that's why. Because of this asshole. Fuck. Oh, do I do I use the pumpkin loaf right now? Dude, really? Let me move. God damn it! Are you joking me? You're kidding me, dude. I I I'm trying to hit him. Can I please hit him? Oh my fucking god, really. Oh, I'm killing this guy. Fuck! Dude, are you choking me? I I can't do anything! He keeps freezing me! Um, Pumpkin loaf. Oh, fuck. That actually scared me. Are you joking? I'm gonna... I'm... Fuck. I, I have to. I have to. I, there is no way how I can win this fight without this one guy constantly vomiting all over me. Let me leave. Oh, fuck. Just miss. Miss once. Miss once. Miss once. Okay. Come on. Please, let me leave, let me leave. Let me leave, I beg of you, let me leave. Are you joking me? Dude, what was I supposed to do there? At the very, at the very least, I didn't lose my fucking um, items or whatnot. Or at least I hope I didn't. You know, I didn't. But what was I supposed to do? This guy kept vomiting on me. I couldn't move at all! Now the big problem comes that I, I lose all my PSI just because I fucking died. This sucks! Like, genuinely speaking, what was I supposed to do there? Not this shit again, come on. 
Genuinely, what, he, ju he just gets to do it for free, all because I don't have the speed. Despite the fact that I literally grind it out for, for better stats, he still has better speed than me. And it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't help when there's two of them, I have to fight both of them. One of them can just attack me, one of them can just vomit on me. Alright, buckos. Uh, Fuck, I don't even have any PSI! Alright, I'm killing this guy first. Suck it. Joke's on you, bucko! I don't have any PSI! Dude, this... This sucks! What am I supposed to do here? What am I actually supposed to do here? Okay, one's down. One's down. Finally. I I, I don't care. I, I don't care what you do to me. I just want to take out these preemptive whatever the fuck they're called. Preemptive scavenger. There we go. Okay. I can finally have a chance to play the game. Or this over recycled doesn't want me to play the game. Jesus guys, come on. Come on now. Don't 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 try to ruin everything like this. God damn it. Dude Ferret, come on, come on. This is a problem that I had all this time when I was trying to grind out. Is that these guys are constantly dodging. Yeah, and they, they just have better speed. There's not, there's nothing more that I can say. They just have better speed. Alright, what do we got here? Trash can is shaking? What am I supposed to do with it? Well, I can't really do anything with it, so... Might as well just come over here. Finally made it to winters. The earth and sky are tainted raw black. Trees burn crimson and grass has been stained orange. The freezing air howls through the icy endless night as you stand shivering. The cold pierces your eyelids as your senses dull and your head begins to throb. An immense feeling of dread overshadows you, tearing your brain apart at the stem. This world is dead. Death permeates every surface, stabs at your eyes, your ears, your heavy throat. Yet, your legs move forward, still propelled by some unknown force. You are determined. Barrack, monster hunter, demon slayer, in a land of horrors far more deadly than anything you've ever imagined. What do you expect to face? You traveled all this way to meet the worst, and you found it. Welcome to the land of doom. Land of doom, you say? Hmm? This feels more like hell. Say this was winters? Jesus Christ. I generally don't even know what to say here. I'm assuming you have to go down like you would with winters, right? What was once the nice, cool, blue, ethereal look of winters? Now it turns into a deep, dark, hellish crimson red that fits nicely with its new name, the Land of Doom. Heeding the words of the Apple Kid, I had assumed that Dr. Andanuts would reside in winters, but something told me that this wouldn't be an easy task to reach to him. Whatever the case may be, something must have happened to him for this place to turn up the way that it did. Nothing seems to have survived what has bestowed upon the land, even the Snowwood Boarding House seems to have been destroyed alongside all other life in the area. Considering that Gygus was already dead for months, Doc was the only other suspect for what had happened here. Although we did find the monsters that made it to Tucson, we weren't prepared to see the bigger picture. The monster shambled towards the- Jeez! What is this? This is- my, my god, what am I witnessing? Yes, I leveled up, but at what cost? Winters ain't winters anymore. What's wrong, dude? 
Desperate survivor. The chance for a survive. The desperate survivor? Can I defend? He does one damage. Uh, I don't think. I don't think I can do that. Uh, again, this is like very Toby Fox ish, but like I don't, I don't want to kill him. I want him to survive. This gravestone is one of many. You want to record your journey before it ends. Thank you. The world out there. Violent monsters and refugees everywhere. Altered landscapes and the lakes, odd tides. Please be careful. Something evil is going on. So dangerous out there. Please rest. Thank you very much, my good man. Now, the question is... What happened here? What happened to Winters that made everything so dark? The only person who's known to be here in Winters is Dr. Andonuts. Yet, like how the Apple Kid said, Doc hasn't been seen since Gygus. Since, the, since Gygus' fall. So, what happened here? Did Doc just forget to leave his... <laughs> Did Doc just forget to turn off the power in his lab? This is even worse. <laughs> this is like so much worse than oh god, dog. No. No. You do not get to just buy my head off for free like that. Hell no. Have over here or how did this come? How did this come to be? Alright, I guess this is our one way ticket back to. I call it Dr. Andonuts' lab. Fuck, another monster. Oh, wow. Please do not tell me that I'm gonna have to grind out even more! God damn it! Yo, what the fuck is that? What's the Starman doing here? Where are you? The remnants? Oh no. Dog, oh, come on. Please, 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 just go away. Move. Go away. Thank you. I don't know what you are, and to be real with you, I kind of don't care who you are. Because right now, I have to sneeze. Right now, it's in my best interest just not to fight with anybody. I need to go to the next checkpoint, the next save, next phone that I can find out. And maybe, maybe then, I might consider grinding a little bit more. But... Right now, I'm not in the position to even bother continuing fighting like I could have done. Just find out where the hell am I, where the hell I am, and what the hell do I need to do because this is not fucking normal. I'll tell you that. That's Stonehenge. <laughs> Shit, zombie. I have to do the old strat of making sure he's not on my screen. That way he can despawn. The oldest trick in the book. If it works in Minecraft, it'll work anywhere else. Right, there's Desperate Survivor. I am here in Stonehenge. More zombies. Alright. Doc slabs right over here, so there we go. It's making your heart pound. It's making your heart pound. Beric, just getting near the door is making your heart pound. Reality is becoming an illusion. Sea and waves are out of sync. 
The world's light has gone and hid. Only the dim, pulsating pain in your cold hands keeps you alive. And beyond this door is the greatest evil. The monsters you saw before were no doubt mere shadows to the one inside this metal coffin. This is it. This is the end. It's just a door. Don't you think this is a little excessive for just the door? All right. Yeah, phone don't work. This machine is warm to the touch. Some sort of ebb inside of it, like the belly of a pregnant. Okay. Okay. So, um, what's up, Doc? Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker, referred you, right? And not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I can't. I can't believe it. My son is dead. I killed him. That's right. They're all dead. Every being in winters. Every being on the earth. No. Every being in the universe. I sent them back in time to perish. If I can't be with them today, what have I lived for? Life is meaningless. So I made. I made. <laughs> they. There. Have you. Oh god. Come here to kill me, haven't you? Ah. I don't. I don't. Don't kill me! <laughs> The monster! And you! You, the... Hero. Th that's right. You're going to kill me. Your eyes are full of murder. Your... Your all... All those eyes. Your... It's... No! Those eyes came back. <laughs> so you came back. Well... I just finished the prototype of this machine. It generates a metaphysical realm in the mind of the user. I call this realm Magic Cat. In it are your greatest desires, and your deepest dreams, and your utmost fears. Inside lies ultimate peace. The world is dead and I become senile with guilt and rage. Please, please let an old man rest in peace. Leave me. Okay, um... Doc? This is the last. As you slid your frigid fingers across this warm, thumping machine, the sense of the monster is stronger than ever. The monster's pungent odor invades your nose and fills your lungs. Finally, right there in front of you, and you can feel the knife in your pocket. It's cold and hungry. There's a monster here and you have to kill it. Legs want to move. Move toward the monster. Varric. Varric. You know you always have a choice. You always had a choice. So what do you want to do? What do you, Varric? Devil killer. Gaius destroyer. What do you do? I don't want to kill him. Doc suffered through more than enough. I get that there may have not been much that he could have done. This is the destiny of Ness, who, Paula, and Jeff. What do I want to do? That's right. That's what you have chose. You hold the knife high and deftly sink into the machine. The beating becomes faster and your heart begins to burn. You stab it again and again. Blood starts to pour out onto the floor from the silts made in the machine. The machine is banging, banging and yelling, yelling. The monster is trying to escape from his own coffin. You can hear crying from the inside of his little cage. He's screaming for help, for mercy. <laughs> 
thrust, you thrust the knife into the machine, and after a long scream, the beating stops. Both your hands and face are blood red. You rip open the door to the machine. The monster slumps out onto the floor, curled up into a ball, oddly rigid. The sound of metal clanking echoes deeply in the quiet lab. Perfect silence. You have nowhere to go. Your legs are gone. Your arms are gone. Your mind is gone. You did the right thing, Beric. It was really brave of you to make that choice. We need people like you to make decisions like that. You're a true hero. The end. <laughs> oh. This really is the end. I have been pressing every single button known to mankind. And... Yeah, I think... I think this is the end. Or is it? Am I really satisfied with what has happened here? Am I really satisfied with this ending? Am I really satisfied with the killing off Dr. Andonuts for good? After all, I don't know what's going through his head. He literally lost his son and seems to still be in grief from it. Who am I to say what I did was a good job? No. If I was to really be a hero, then I need to save the lives of the innocent while taking out those who deserve it. Does Doc deserve it? Again, I don't know, but what I do know is that I can't let it end like this. If I have to move back the hands of time to see all of this pan out, then so be it. I came to Winters to destroy a monster, and Doc right now doesn't seem like a monster. I refuse to believe that the journey would be to end here, right now. This story has more to it. I know that it does. Now tell me, Doc. What now? What? Farrakh, you can't choose nothing. What are you doing throwing that knife away? That's the wrong choice. You're making the wrong choice. You want to kill the monster. Why are you opening the door to him? Your, your legs aren't lying to you. That knife doesn't lie to you. Farrakh, if you open that door, time and space will collapse. Inside that door is Magic Hat. His Magic Hat. If you go in, Inside that door, stop! Don't open that! You! you. Beric, 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 wake up! Beric, Beric, wake up! This is all just a dream, isn't it? Is it? Who's, who's giving, who's telling me these thoughts? Who's giving me all this mind info, this mind advice? Interesting. By interesting, I mean God damn it, Magic Hand. Ah, oh, I've I've already bitched about Magic Hand. Whatever. This Magic Hand wasn't as fucking atrocious as one in Earthbound Beginnings. This isn't even Ness's Magic Hand. This is Doc's. I'll be honest and say that Doc's Magic Hand wasn't very interesting. There were some cool things to hear, such as his dog saying that he misses him, Doc remembering some good jokes here and there. An existential crisis within Doc's mind. Each person in Magic Ant epitomizes a single memory, a single moment. We're all trapped reliving the same thoughts day after day. Please, save us. I'm, I'm doomed like this forever. Doomed to always be opening the yogurt lid. And a suspicious man within the flock of flying men. Courage? I'm sorry, I don't know what that is, but it sounds scary. I'll stick to making tacos. What the... What is... What is my guy doing over here? Did somebody say tacos? <laughs> However, the Apple Kid was able to tell me something important about Doc and his mind. Eric, welcome to Magic Ant Our Paradise. Here you may stay peacefully forever. However, if you're looking for an exit, you're out of luck. Dr. Ananots hides deep beyond here within the Sea of Eden, afraid of even his own mind. Before you approach him, you'll have to recover his courage forgotten in his mind, stowed away by his fear. Once you have his courage, this blue maze will no longer be a dead end. Beric, I wish you luck. And fortunately enough, his courage isn't too far out either. Deep within this building is the lost courage. Be careful. Be yourself. 
With that information in mind, I went to the store, managed to get Khan out of a pendant that was pretty ass compared to my leather armor, found an IQ capsule and drank it, and with that, I began my journey to find Doc's Lost Courage. This doesn't look like courage, this looks like the monoto- Not the monoto- One of my friends, Rivers, he told me that I've been saying the- I've been calling mono totally wrong this entire time. It's monotoly, not monotoil. And yet nobody other than him has told me that I said it wrong. So thanks a lot, guys. Teams are in here are incredibly scary. When they finish using the toilet, they never wash their hands. Gag. Can't you read? Picture on the door shows a red person wearing a dress. If you don't cross dress, you can't come in. Alright, alright. Mighty bear over here. Inside these doors are demons. The farther you go left, the stronger the demons become. You have been warned. What's in here? Let me go back in. Thank you very much. What's in here? So we're in an, on net again. Uh, this doesn't sound like the on net that I know. Cucumber juice, I'll take that. What does that do? I saw that I could have bought it, but I didn't buy it. 6 HP, cool. Doesn't do anything. Nothing. What do you mean nobody's here? Excuse me? Remember me? No, I don't remember you at all. Uh... Come on, dude. Don't do this to me. Don't actually do this to me. Fuck. Uh, which one was to help crying again? Was it cleanse alpha or cleanse beta? Why do I even fucking rem Why do I even try? <laughs> Why do I bother? Oh god. Oh, uh, PSI magnet. That's a problem. Oh, really? I have to. I have to hit him. I just. Oh, dude. I don't feel proud of myself. Okay. There's a sky nectar. Oh, fucking. Fine. I'll throw something away. Oh, yeah, I'll throw away the cucumber juice. Throw it away. Doc, well, come on, come on. Dude, this stupid shark is in the way! This is a fucking problem! This shark is in the way and I can't do anything! I actually can't do anything. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to restart the game because I'm stuck here! Alright, I'm back here again. Now the question is, do I keep going? Do I keep fighting? Do I have to go through all of these remember me's? Really? <laughs> I killed it in one hit. The sky nectar. Damn it! Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll throw away the caramel. I'm only throwing, I'm only throwing it away because I have PSI magnet. What do I do here? Avoid eye, eye contact, avoid skin contact. See how much easier it is? Do I have to go through like an endless amount of remember me's and we're not? I don't even know what Sky Nectar does. Can I throw it away? No. Yes. What does it even do? What does Sky Nectar even do? There's about 60 HP when you drink it. Oh. Oh, so it's not even worth it for me. I, I have the pumpkin loaves. I've been throwing those away. What do I do here now, then? Can this shark fuck off? 
Doc. Greetings. I don't think we met before, but I'm happy to see you. Would you like a donut? Come on, Doc. Do I have to deal with this guy again? You're joking me. You're actually jo- This shit again! Really? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it off for there. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Memento Mori and whatnot. My name is Pixel Love, and hopefully by the time I get back in the next episode, these two assholes won't be near me again! Take care, everybody.